Hey, hey, it's okay, okay. I'm back today with a quick coloring video. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on drawing dragonfly wings or fairy wings. Uh, these are examples of how we're going to end up with a wing that's kind of multicolored rainbow effect with uh, just some kind of like sparklies in the wing. Um, that's what it's going to end up looking like. And I'm going to show you how I do that. It gets a nice, uh, just kind of a translucent kind of a rainbow feeling. All right, so this is the uh, the wings that we're going to be doing this on. If you've uh, followed along in my brush set video, I am going to be using that same brush set that I give out for free. Uh, if you want to pull that up, I'm going to be using 150 down here in the grit area. Uh, it's just going to give a nice little uh, texture. Uh, I'm doing this in a, like a blue, a very light blue, uh, not too much of a difference in tone, or what is it, not too much darker, uh, but not uh, as too much of a difference in color too. Um, you can see here it's uh, just along the like light blue right before um, like turquoise. Okay, so we did that. And next, I'm going to add a layer of hue. Uh, if you're doing this in Photoshop, which I suggest because I don't have much experience with anything else, we're going to add this hue layer with a little bit of a uh, very dim purple or violet, I guess you'd say. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing here. And let's go up to my favorite brush, the 80 and just kind of uh, um, kind of stroking it from the, the inside out and we'll start with the pink and get out there next thing I want to do with this is to create another new layer and I'm going to go down to uh, the grit kind of area and go to this 400 I think we'll try that first and I'm gonna make it a little smaller we're going to go with a white. Um, well, actually, yeah, let's use that color. All right. Uh, so we get a white, maybe a light green. And we'll just come in here and give it some uh, little sparkles, I guess you'd call them. Um, and you can uh, play around with this uh, kind of idea of going with a different hue layer and creating this uh, rainbow effect. You can use different colors. You can color in the, uh, let's see, what is this, like the membrane of the wings. Uh, I've got a reference photo up of dragonfly wings right here. Uh, you can see there's lots of variations. You can get a honeycomb brush. Uh, I do have a honeycomb brush. Honey honeycomb brush in my larger pack of brushes that I don't usually pull up or have pulled up uh, because you know it's just it slows your computer down uh, let's see let me get I've got a four right here I think I've got a selection going okay so if you want to just add some like membrane things going in here follow along in inking that you've already done or don't follow along in inking just uh, you could use it without inking but anyways, this is a little quick way to do some interesting dynamic fairy wings. Um, and I encourage you, if you like that look, play around with it because there's a lot of fun you can have. Uh, if you just kind of experiment, that's a good base for you to start on and just have fun uh, playing around. Let me just uh, give you one option to play around with. Uh, let's go with the hue layer and I'm going to change the hue over here to get a different uh, Where is that? <laughs> Why is that not changing? Um, oh, that was my sparkly layer. Okay, so um, Here's my hue. We can change it to like a green um, We can make it really light well, you know, the, it's a hue layer So it's not gonna change that much. You can make it, you know, like a red but that's what I decided to go with right there. Um, let's see. Uh, I could try one more example. Uh, I want to go through it one more time just so you get the uh, everything 
uh, cemented in your <laughs> mind, uh, feel comfortable doing it. Uh, let's go with the 150 brush again. I'm gonna make that 150 brush smaller. Kind of make it the appropriate size to fit. I'll make it a little bit bigger than that. Um, we're gonna go with a light blue, kind of a dirty blue, and we'll just kind of texture up these wings a little bit and darken them up a little bit at the beginning, I think. A um, little too much back here. Okay, so now we'll go on to a hue layer. So we'll create a new layer, we'll change it to hue. Uh, I'm going to mark it like red just so I don't get confused with other layers. And then we'll take this purple over here and uh, we'll just kind of give it a hue of purple and pink. It's kind of like a magenta, I guess. So you can also change your brush, go to my favorite one, just kind of give it more of a strong uh, magenta. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. And you can add the next layer for your white or your extremely light green or yellow um, little uh, whatever you call these, like sparklies, help make it look like a fairy. And if you want to add in a uh, real quick little uh, wing membrane things, <laughs> lines, you can uh, choose like a honeycomb pattern or you can kind of color in these, um, you know, just kind of like like butterfly wings might look like, I don't know. Uh, this is what I imagine they are looking like. I'm just not using references or anything, but you can play around with that. And if you want to uh, give it more of something like a, oh, sorry, let me get back on there. If you want to give it more of a dark to light, um, I would suggest pulling up a multiply layer. Click that multiply, bring it all the way on top, and um, let's go with something kind of pinkish or purpley. This is a multiply layer, so I'm going to use this and I don't know, we'll go kind of dark over here. That way it feels like it's in the background. It's not jumping out at the page too far because this is the foreground. These wings are in the background. So you might play around with it some depending on what um, where these wings are in your image. But this is a real quick way to have fun with fairy wings in a comic. Um, this is okay, okay, okay. Uh, if you'd like to pick up these brush packs, uh, you can visit my profile page over on DeviantArt or look through my videos on my channel. Uh, my channel is okay, okay. And I am okay, okay. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.